this show is really, uh, as they say in the business world, getting traction. Okay? It's a beer show, but that's a disguise for oh. the spiritual advice that I dispense. This is my pastor. I've decided to bring him on. Uh, it'll help ratings. Plus, I am a spiritual leader. And I yeah. want people to see like who my spiritual leader is, so they'll have more confidence in what I say. Uh, this is my big break. Uh, it's an honor to be on your TV show. Uh, to ignore that is is uh, it's like committing spiritual suicide. It's just wrong. discovered by being a spiritual leader or a giant of some sort is that every time you see an uh, image of Jesus though he has long hair I think it's very important that you're doing this show and um, this is a good ass e show e exposing yourself this is a good ass show uh, it is I wouldn't uh, give this much of myself to somebody I didn't believe in and I believe in you I've seen a few episodes and, and and it seems to me like you've treated your guest a little bit unfairly and they've really put up with that and to their credit. So you have the gall to come on my fucking show and start trying to tell me how to live well, I'm, life. Well, I'm just, I just, I, mean, I just, who the I, fuck do you think you are? Don't get smart with me. I, I need a straight answer. Am I an asshole to my guest? Yes, yes. Sir. yes. You know, you don't have to ask me these things. I'm just going to tell you because... I care. I'm glad you agree. Hey. I, I know earlier in this conversation you were kind of getting smart with me, and I wanted to say, hey, I hope this doesn't, you know, have, have any uh, long-term effects on our friendship or brotherhood. I just have a hard time trusting people who love you as a human being. And, uh, Sounds like there's a rat over there. It's kind of sad. You're, I think you're just trying to uh, avoid this honest conversation by like, trying Deal. to look over the corner and looking for a rat. 